Hello, Box users. Welcome to video two of our Box CLI series. I'm Alex Novotny, a developer advocate here at Box. In the last video, I showed you how to set up the CLI using OAuth 2.0 authentication. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in help functionality to create a folder. Let's go. All right. To get started, make sure you have a box window open as well as a terminal. When our software engineers created the box CLI, they did so with non-coders in mind. They added built-in help functionality so that you can create commands on the fly without knowing any command specifics. As a refresher, if you type box and hit enter, you'll see a list of commands that are available to you. All of the commands allow you to type dash dash help at the end to see further options within that category. In this video, I'll use the folders command. Type box space folders space dash dash help and hit enter. You can also just type dash H. We now see all of the sub commands under folders, including create, delete, and move. But the built in help functionality doesn't stop there. You can continue using dash dash help all the way down the command tree. For example, Type box space folders colon create dash H and hit enter. We now see arguments for parent ID and name, as well as other options below. The parent ID is the folder ID where you would like to create the new folder. Note, if you want to create a folder at your root, you need to use ID zero. The name is the name of the folder that you would like to create. Below the arguments are several options including description. If you added dash dash description equals my CLI folder, that description would get added in the UI. So let's create a folder. There are two ways to find out the parent ID. One, you can go to box and scroll to a folder that you'd like to create another folder in, select it, and you'll see the folder ID within the URL bar. You can also use the CLI. I'll tape box, space folders, get space zero, and I will see all of the information for my particular user's root. Within the item collection, I can find the same folder. To actually create the folder, I'll type box space folders, colon create space the parent ID, followed by a space, then the name that I wanna call it, I'll call it test CLI folder. Note if you have a name that has multiple words, you'll actually want to enclose it in quotations. And then I will hit enter. We are then returned with a folder that was created. Here's the idea of the new folder. And if I refresh the page on the left, I'll actually see that the new folder was created. Congrats, you made a folder using the CLI. All of the other commands have very similar prompts that you can use. Also, if you make a common typo, it will correct you and ask you to confirm what you meant. For example, if I were to type box space user colon get and hit enter, it's gonna ask me if I meant users. I can type Y and it will actually run that command for me. Thanks for watching video two of our CLI series. In the next video, I'm going to cover some more advanced topics about the CLI, including using the as user option. Until next time. If you love the Box Content Cloud and want to see more content, make sure to like this video and click subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter at Box Platform. See you soon.